Hey everyone, Christine here, founder of Sewing and the City. And I'm so excited for today's video because I'm gonna be taking you uh, on an empty studio and house tour of my new space here in Valencia, Spain. The apartment was built in 1940. And so the owner, um, it was actually her grandmother that lived here. When she did pass away, they uh, redid the, the whole apartment. But what I love is they kept all of the original floors except in the kitchen and bathroom. Um, and they also kept the original ceilings, which just, I absolutely love. I feel like the floors are kind of wild, you'll see. Um, so it has taken me a little bit of time just to really like get used to them and figure out also like colors as I decorate. Um, but I just have really fallen in love with those little details that are really from another era. So I'm currently in my new sewing space. You can see I do have um, two tables as well as a one little rolling rack in here already. Um, but this tour I, I actually filmed before I moved anything in. So I'm gonna take you room by room and where I already have some inspiration, I'm going to you know, kind of show you the DIY plans that I have. So the apartment itself, I'm kind of dividing it into two separate parts. So on the front side here are three rooms that are all going to be work related. So I'm in my studio space here, on the other side is an office, and then on the other side is a bedroom that I'm planning something really, really cool. Um, so I'll show you that during the tour. And then on the other side of the apartment, kind of the back side is where I have the bathrooms, um, my bedroom and the living area. So now let's just get it right into the tour. Okay, so here's an overview of the three rooms on the work side. You can see the main entry door is the first door you see on the right. And then moving into the first room, this is where I'm going to make my office. So I love the ceilings in this room. I think they're really elegant and pretty. And it is a fairly small room, which makes it a nice office. And also this is the only, only room in the entire apartment that actually has a closet. Now, as we move out of the office, I'm just gonna swing around as slowly as possible into the sewing studio. And you can see the floors in every room are different and the ceilings are different. So in here we have a bit more of a bold ceiling and a bold floor. Um, this wall here is where I'm going to do a wall of shelves. Um, so that really isn't so much a DIY project, but a little bit of a decorative thing. Um, and then I have already put in the two tables in the center. So then as you go out of the sewing room, uh, this third room on the right here, I'm going to make into what I'm calling the fashion closet. So because there are literally only one closet in the whole place, I figured why not just make this into my sample room with also obviously the closet. Um, so I'm really excited for this room. I think it's gonna be really fun and just to have as um, a, a dedicated closet to all my sewing um, makes. And then as we head into the other side, um, the first room here is the main bathroom and um, it's been redone. The only thing that I am a little disappointed in is that they took out the original tub. Um, so both of the bathrooms just have stand-up showers, but then the other feature that I love about this bathroom is it has the washer here. A lot of apartments I saw have the washer in the kitchen, which for me as an American is just a little weird. Uh, so then as we go into the second bathroom, pretty standard. And then just across from that is the room that is going to be my bedroom. So it is a fairly small room, but I love, love, love the floors in here. I love the pink. Um, and so while it is small, I'm gonna make it a really cozy bedroom. I've already done a little DIY, which I'll pop, pop up on the screen here. I painted the wall and um, I've started furniture flipping. So. Um, this little dresser was my first furniture flip, and yeah, I may or may not be doing more. Let's see. It's a lot of work. 
And then as we come into the living room, um, this is the, the largest room. Um, I was considering making this my sewing space, um, but then I decided mm, maybe it's better to actually have a proper living room. Um, I do love the ceilings in here. I think they are really pretty with this um, kind of art deco star pattern. Um, and the floors are also really pretty. So in here, I guess this is probably the most DIY place. I wanna do a pipe shelf um, here. And then there's a chair that I've been wanting to make by um, Fashion Attack. It's a, a YouTube channel. She does this really cool pipe chair. So I'm thinking about DIYing that as well. Um, and then kind of looking at this room from a different angle, um, kind of moving into the kitchen. So I love these barn doors. They were actually all once on hinges, but during the rebuild, they actually put them on this kind of barn, barn door hinge or slider. And I just love the effect. It's really nice not to have the swing doors. Um, and then the kitchen is just one long, I guess you would call this a galley kitchen. Um, and the floors in here are new um, because they were pretty well worn, I guess. So that is the empty house and studio tour. I feel so incredibly honored and lucky to have this space to make a new home in. And I am open to suggestions. So if you have any thoughts or creative ideas for things that I could do in the space, please um, don't be shy. Leave me a comment below and let me know your thoughts. I am planning to do kind of a sub series here on the channel, uh, just documenting some of my DIYs that I do. Some will be sewing, some like um, uh, some will be like furniture flips. So um, those will be coming soon. So be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're interested and hit the like button on the way out. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.